Anna, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own pulled string art. In order to do this project, we first need to gather several supplies, so let me tell you what those things are. You're going to need some string, and we'll be cutting our string into smaller pieces, so you also need a pair of scissors. You need some white paper. I'm using white cardstock, but you can also use just regular white printer paper. You need an old book or like an old school workbook or something to put the string into. So we're going to probably be ruining whatever book you use for this. So like I said, use an old book or an old school workbook, something that you don't mind throwing away after um, if it's necessary. As you can see, my book got paint all over it. So I'm gonna throw it away. You need some cups or jars to put your liquid watercolors in. You need one for each color. You need some kind of utensil to push the string into the liquid watercolor. Um, I used a plastic fork, but a, a straw would work, a regular knife or fork or spoon would work, and you need liquid watercolor. I have liquid watercolor in six different colors, primary colors and secondary colors, um, but if all you can find at the store is neon liquid watercolor, get it because I promise it's going to look awesome when you're done. And you also need some paper towel. And I have some optional supplies that you can gather for this project. Because liquid watercolor will stain your clothing if it gets on it, I highly recommend you get an apron or wear old shirts and shorts to do this project in um, because you don't want to ruin your nice clothes. So an apron or some old clothing to wear while you work. And also gloves if you don't want to look like a children's librarian or a preschool teacher for a few days afterwards. You'll want some gloves to protect your hands. All right, now that you've gathered your supplies, let's get started. All right, so once you've gathered all of the supplies that you're gonna need for this project, the first step is to cut your string into pieces that are about 18 inches long. About like that. And I've already cut the rest of my pieces, so I'm good to go. After you've cut the pieces of string, you need to pour your liquid watercolors into your cups or jars that you gathered. So I've already done that. I've got about a half an inch to an inch of watercolor in each cup. You can put more if you're working with more children or if you're gonna be doing more projects than just a couple. Um, but this is plenty for what I'm about to do. So do that and then take your pieces of string and put them into the cup or jar with the ends about a couple of inches hanging out the sides of the cup or jar. So you've got the middle of the string in the liquid watercolor, but the ends of it are out so that you can have something to grab onto, just like that. Then you need to take your sheet of paper and fold it in half, just like this, and grab the old book that you're gonna be using for this project, open it up somewhere in the middle, and put that piece of paper inside. Close it up and we'll get to that in a second. So I'm just gonna push it off to the side here. I'm using in this project a plastic fork, the end of a plastic fork to push my string into the watercolor more. So you can do that as well if you wanna grab a utensil and just push the middle of the string into the paint more so that it soaks up more of it but you still have your ends to grab onto. And next what we're going to do is we're going to grab the ends, pick any of your watercolor colors, grab the ends of the string and pull it out of the cup. You've got plenty of it soaked in there. Take your finger and thumb and you're gonna wipe off any of the excess paint. A lot of it comes off. And that's what our paper towel is for. Move your cup to the side and open your old book to where your paper is. You're going to be laying your string onto the bottom half, the page right here, the bottom half, the side closest to the table. And you can lay your string onto that page in whatever fashion you want. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Mine naturally ended up like that, so looks good to me. I'm going to close my paper and then close my book and then turn it to the side so this part is easier to do. With one hand, I'm gonna hold my book closed. And with my other hand, I'm gonna use my fingers to grab onto the ends of the string that are out and pull the string out of the book. 
put that back in my cup. And let's look at what happened on my paper. That's the art I've created so far. So now I can do another color. Close that back up and let's do purple. Again, I'm using the end of a plastic utensil to push the middle of the string where the paint's getting to push the string into the paint more just so it soaks up with some more paint. Move my book back over, pull it out, use my fingers to scrape off any excess. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do this, so I'm going to put that one like that. There we go. Close everything up. Hold it down with one hand, pull the string with the other. Put that back in the cup, and let's see what we did. And you can keep repeating those steps however many times you want until you're satisfied with how your cold string art looks. It's done when you decide it's done. does it for our pull string art. I hope you had as much fun as I did creating your piece of art. If you'd like, please share pictures of what you created with us on the Facebook post for this particular video. We would love to see what you created at home. And we hope to see you back here for another video later. Thanks for joining us. Bye!